the Government of Ghana's Agenda 111, which aims at providing 101 district hospitals, will commence on Tuesday, the 17th of August, 2021. The Government of Ghana's Agenda 111, which aims at providing 101 district hospitals, will commence on Tuesday, the 17th of August, 2021. The project will also see to the provision of two specialized hospitals, one for the Middle Belt, one for the Northern Belt of the country. These are psychiatric hospitals. And then a redevelopment of the Accra Psychiatric Hospital. There will also be the development of six new regional hospitals and one extra regional hospital for the Western region. The District Hospitals Project, as you recall, was first announced in April 2020 by President Akufuado during his eighth COVID update to the nation. And it is programmed to take between 12 months to complete each one from the point of commencement. You recall uh, earlier, I think there was a bit of confusion that it was 12 months from the date that he had mentioned it, but that was not the point. So we sought to clarify that for each project, you expect that it will take 12 months to complete once it is commenced. So the program is to take 12 months for each unit from the point of commencement. And these are 101 of the district hospitals before you add the other uh, facilities we are talking about, all making um, 111. Now, since its announcement, the Project Implementation Committee, chaired by Chief of Staff, Madame Akusia Frema Oseopari, has been uh, delivering a number of objectives. One, to secure the physical location of 101 sites. Currently, they have secured 88 of those 101 sites. Not just securing the physical location, but also securing title to the parcels of land, 88 out of 101 so far. And each, each, each of these parcels is about 15 acres to be able to do the kind of uh, facility based on the architectural drawings that they are, they are putting up. Um, they've also been procuring the services of um, consultants. You know, for all of these projects, they are what you call project consultants. So the project itself, the master project itself, has its consultant. And then for every particular site, every one of the 101 sites, like is done in every construction uh, project, you need the consultants uh, and then the contractors who are working on it. They've also been delivering this uh, since that time. They've also been um, working to secure funding for it. Currently, commencement funding of 100 million US dollars has been made available to the project through the Ghana Infrastructure Investment Fund. Uh, for the projects themselves, it's budgeted at nearly 17 million USD for each of the district hospitals. The district and specialized hospitals are being funded by the government of Ghana. But for the regional hospitals, uh, EPC arrangements have been made and uh, that come with their own funding associated with it. Contractors for the various projects have also been procured and are commencing work with the first set uh, starting from this week. Preference was given to local contractors and local labor because it will also be the demonstration of what we call Ghanaian excellence. Uh, that will, among other things, uh, showcase what um, the Ghanaian construction and uh, engineering community is also capable of doing. The project is expected to deepen healthcare delivery at all district levels and ensure that the Ghanaian can access high quality healthcare at all district levels. It will also provide thousands of jobs for the healthcare staff who are going to be recruited and posted to these 111 facilities across the country. District hospitals, specialized hospitals, regional hospitals. It will also provide jobs for the ancillary workers beyond the healthcare workers themselves. In every one of these facilities, you have ancillary uh, workers who provide services that support the core healthcare exercise that is going on there. 
And then there's also critical housing that is being provided attached to these um, hospitals. It is expected that the housing and the local services associated with these projects would also add a new layer to the local economic activities in service of our local communities. The government calls on all, especially the local beneficiary communities, traditional leaders, youth, and all actors in the local health sector to give their full support to this project for the benefit of our people across the country. On Tuesday, President Akufuad will observe the commencement of works at Trede in the Ashanti region. And immediately afterwards, other contractors in the other districts are expected to commence work. Local communities are encouraged to take a keen interest and to support not just the commencement of works in their local area, but also to follow up on the progress of work in the upcoming months. So this is a quick brief that we have to share with you. It will be one of the most significant um, single batch of healthcare infrastructure projects that our country would have embarked on since independence. And we believe it's important to rally the whole country behind it. And through you, we believe that we can reach uh, the country. That is the end of this video. Subscribe, like, and share so you don't miss our next outstanding content.